why the 2019 election is almost here there are people who are reneging and eating their words those who said they can never are now going back to what they said they can never and the question now comes who do we believe it is time for nigerians to do away with all class of people who have at one point or the other been involved in the political career of this country and has not given us enough proofs to convince us on why they should even deserve to become a class preferred, not to talk about being a governor or being a president. Welcome to today's show. Today we're talking about Atiku Obasajo and Buhari. This is the article's video. Yeah, Listen to it. But I then, with what I know about Atiku. So the question is, what do you know about Atiku? Which you can read in my book. Okay, you can read it in the book, right? Okay, read the book. Read the book. Member of his family. If, with what I know about Atiku. What do you know about Atiku? What do you know? About that article. You wrote a book, right? I think the book is there. Have you gone to tell the people who bought the book and said, I'm, I'm um, withdrawing the book from the market? The book is there for everybody to see. So, if with what you know, and no matter you went forward to publish what you know, and you are saying that God will not forgive you if you support him, then we need to know that this guy has some issues if i have put article forward god will not have forgiven okay. me <laughs> okay okay let's see when he was putting article forward <laughs> well he's putting him forward right now right and exist for the benefit of all Nigerians and non-Nigerians who desire to live or do business in and with Nigeria. The attitude of, it is my turn and I can do what I like, with impunity, will not last because Nigeria is created by God and it will outlive all evil machinations and designs against the overall interest of Nigeria. Before I conclude, let me assert that the security situation has deteriorated with kidnapping everywhere and Boko Haram more in action and nobody should deceive Nigerians about this. This administration has reached the end of its wit, even in handling all security issues, but particularly Issue. So, in case you are not actually seeing, in case you may not know what is actually going on there, we have two people first who are coming from the same field. Two of them were what in the military, and Obasanjo was a superior to Buhari there. Now, this is something we have to understand. These people should not be elected. At the presidential debate, two of the candidates blank, uh, blankly ignored Nigerians. So what do you want us to do? We should elect these people. The question is, do we still win the election? Nigeria has come to the point where we need what? A revolution. So they have described the president to be he and that he needs treatment. And not only that, Ben Bruce Though he said the issues that Buhari raised are very urgent and they are very true, but those issues can actually set the nation in place. And then you talk about the coalition of United Political Parties also, also reacting on what Obasanya talks about. This is one thing in our country. When a person speaks truth, they call it attack. Why? Because the person only speaks truth when he's on the other end of not being in government but they know the same truth when they are in government and someone speaks it they go after them it's the same thing with Buhari if Buhari should leave power today 
and the, the current the government that will be in power why are we also be addressing those issues listen we have to take these people away a revolution must take place in nigeria